all over the world, people are either celebrating or are aware that we are in the Christmas season. And I'm quite sure this applies to you. Whether you're celebrating or not, you know we are in the Christmas season. And depending on your location on this earth, it is already Sabbath. Consequently, it is Christmas Day. They both fall on the same day. Or perhaps you're waiting for the sun to set and then your Christmas will be ushered in and the Sabbath. Whatever the case may be, I will make three guesses. Guess number one, most of you are with family and friends. Keep in mind, the first family was created by God. God is the originator of families. Guess number two, you are in someone's house, whether your own or somebody else's. Genesis 2 verse 8, And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed or whom he had made. Homes were originated, created by God. I'll make a third guess. You are enjoying delicious food. Genesis 2 verse 9, And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. Why am I saying this? In times of rejoicing, it is easy to forget God. I do not want that to befall you, my listening friend. There's ample reason for you at this time of the year to keep God on your mind. The home you're in, where you're celebrating the presence of family and friends, God originated, created homes. The food you're eating, food began with God. The family and the friends you're enjoying, God made the first family. I want you to keep God on your mind because Satan does not take vacations and the worst tragedies are those that occur in times of rejoicing as you do whatever you do whether you celebrate or not i want you to remember that the baby in that manger was the one who said let there be light the one who created the first home created food and created family all of which you are enjoying now keep god on your mind on this sabbath day and may God bless you as you keep the Sabbath holy with the Creator Christ on your mind. God bless you.